Each night, one world-class chef must make it past not one, not two, but all three of my titans if they want to take home $25,000 in cold, hard cash. Think I'm hard to beat? Wait till you get a taste of my triple threat. Welcome, everybody. Titans, you guys are looking dapper tonight, as usual. Who's ready for a triple threat throwdown? Let's do it. Known for modern American cuisine with Asian influences, tonight's chef is not only a James Beard Award nominee and a Top Chef winner, she's also the season four winner of Tournament of Champions. Damn. And I like this fact. She spent four years training and learning under that guy. Pass me, please. Tashi. Chef Maylin. <laughs> Welcome, hey, chef. chef. How are you? For round one, the ingredients are pork tenderloin and blood oranges. 40 minutes on the clock. Let's cook. Oh, my God. My strategy going into this first cook is just to cook my food. Very simple, flavor bomb in your face. So I'm making sweet and sour pork. Growing up, my family actually owned a bunch of Chinese restaurants, so this dish is very nostalgic to me. So for my second dish, I'm making a pork lettuce wrap with a blood orange fish sauce caramel and some pickles. It gets some sugar caramelizing, and then I deglaze with fish sauce and a blood orange juice. My first dish I'm making is a bacon-wrapped pork tenderloin with a whole blood orange puree. For my second dish, I'm doing a pork tenderloin parmesan with a chorizo bolognese and a blood orange parmesan cream over the top. You done? Yes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'd like to introduce you all to tonight's judge. She is the co-owner and executive chef of five award-winning restaurants. She's a James Beard Award winner, and this judge is one of the few chefs that has the title of Iron Chef. This chef made history as the first woman to win Top Chef. Family reunion. Please welcome Chef Stephanie Izard. <laughs> welcome, Chef. Hi, how are you? Welcome, welcome. So the first dish is a blood orange sweet and sour pork. Oh, wow. This is cooked beautifully. It's very tender. There's a great crunch on the outside with the tempura batter. The sauce itself is a great way to celebrate that acidity in the blood orange. Let's move on to the second dish. This is a fish sauce caramel pork lettuce wrap. It's interesting when you do put it all together and get a lot of herbal notes from the herbs that are on there, the pickles are definitely more on the astringent side, so it's a little bit overpowering. And you kind of lose that fish sauce caramel that has a little bit yeah. of blood orange in it. Should be the star of this dish. Right, that's why you come so to the party great. for that. Yeah, exactly. Let's move on to Chef B. Dish number one is a bacon-wrapped pork tenderloin with whole blood orange puree. Oh, wow. The pork itself, when I first put my fork on it, you can tell it's a little bit undercooked, which, as a chef, I'm happy to eat it, but I think this is one of those cooks that I could see when my diner's sending back. Let's move on to dish number two. Pork parmigiano with chorizo bolognese and blood orange parmesan cream. This pork is cooked beautifully. I like the crunch on the outside. There's so many amazing ideas going on in this dish. I think that the cheese sauce is rich and salty, but the chorizo definitely has become the star of this dish. May, your dish has received a total of six points. Ugh. Michael, your dish has scored a total of five points. Mm. I know my missteps, but I don't think that they're catastrophic. It feels incredibly amazing to have beaten Michael. I wanted the student to surpass the master. She's an incredible cook. I trained her to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> In round two, you'll be working with cherry tomatoes and saffron. Interesting. <laughs> Who would you like to cook against in round two? Let's go, Chef Brooke. Time starts now. These are great ingredients. Saffron and cherry tomatoes together are perfect. For my first dish, I'm making clams in a tomato saffron broth. This is definitely inspired by a classic Spanish dish. 
For my second dish, I want to let these tomatoes shine. I'm going to season them with lemon juice, mint, parsley, dill, and I'm adding some cucumbers for a little bit of crunch. I'm going to do a halibut puttanesca and some saffron fried quinoa. Ooh, she's cooking aggressive this round. Oh, look at that technique. Very fancy. What are you making, chef? Caesar salad. Caesar salad. Yes. With saffron dressing. And? Marinated tomatoes. 10, 9, 8, 7. I finish off with the tomato salad. 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop your cooking. Let's start with Chef A. It's a grilled romaine with a saffron Caesar dressing, marinated tomatoes, and breadcrumbs. It looks like someone got the notes that I like crunchy things. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's move on to dish two. Halibut puttanesca and crispy saffron quinoa. Crispy quinoa, yes. another one of my favorite things to use in the kitchen. Let's go to Chef B. Dish number one, clams cooked in a tomato saffron broth. The clams are cooked beautifully. There's plenty of saffron going on in here. Dish number two. Saffron crispy rice with cherry tomato salad. Mm, the rice is definitely stealing the show here from the tomatoes. It's perfectly crunchy on the outside, soft and tender on the inside. Brooke, your dishes received a total score of nine points. Congratulations. Yay. Chef, of course I appreciate the crunch, but it was even beyond that. The Caesar dressing was a really smart move with the saffron. And then puttanesca, I love how you left it chunky on top. It was great, thank you. Chef Maylin, your dishes received a total of seven points. Chef, I thought your dishes were so well executed. I love a crunchy rice cake. I don't know how you got the outside to be so crunchy. And then your clam dish, I just wanted to see a little more brightness in that broth, but such a well executed dish. Thank you. Time for round three. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go, Tiffany. Yeah. All right, May, please show us what you'll be working with. Rack of lamb and celery. Hmm. Celery, huh? Celery. Celery? Huh. This is worth 20 points. I'm gonna give you 45 minutes on the clock, and you'll make one spectacular dish using rack of lamb and celery. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's cook. So I'm making a celery and herb stew with roasted lamb loin and a fresh celery salad. I'm making an epi marinated lamb chop, cauliflower puree, and a celery and charred cabbage salad. Finishing salt. There you go. 10, nine, eight. I finished with mustard green frills and celery. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> My hands are sticking. Okay, Stephanie, welcome back. So the two ingredients were rack of lamb and celery. Oh, celery. Chef A, this is an epi marinated lamb, cauliflower puree, celery, and charred cabbage salad. The lamb's perfectly cooked. It's really well seasoned. It seems like there's a lot of care put into the marinade on the outside. There's a lot of flavor going on there. Let's move on to Chef B. Roasted lamb with a celery and herb stew, puffed wild rice, and a celery herb salad. Celery and herb stew. Mm -hmm. I, something I never would have thought of. First time I've seen it. Oh, wow. There was so much flavor going on in this dish. Chef A was our Titan, Tiffany Derry, which means Chef B was Mei Lin. Right now, the scores are Chef Mei Lin with 13 points, and the Titans have 14 points. Tiffany, we'll start with yours. The lamb was cooked perfectly, and I love all of the spices and care that you put into the outside of it. But the star on the plate was the cabbage. Tiffany, I gave your dish a 16. Maylin, your dish was so full of amazing ideas. I've never thought of taking celery and herbs and turning them into a stew. It was rich for celery and herbs. May, I gave your dish 19 points. How you feel? Elated. <laughs> Ecstatic. Great job tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye, Bye Chef. Thank, Thank you, Chef. You. I really think I won this competition because I cook to who I am as a chef and food that really pulls out the heartstrings and overall things that just taste good.